Welcome to this video tutorial. In this uh, section, we will learn how can we use computed columns to dynamically calculate the values. So let's we have a table jobs. Let's open it by clicking option added 200 rows. You will see we have two columns, salary and benefit. We want to create another column total. But we do not want our users to insert values into that column themselves. We want that column be calculated dynamically. So we and we want that column should be the sum of salary and benefit. In this case, that column should have value 1100. In this case, that column should have value 5500. So how can we achieve that goal? Let's see. We'll open this jobs table in design view and we'll create a computed column right uh, let's name that column total and uh, we are not going to define any data type right and uh, in the column properties section you can see we have a computed column specification right we will expand this section and it's asking for the formula we will enter salary plus benefit let's write S A L A R Y salary plus benefit you can use definitely any function or any thing over here and it depends on you what formula you are uh, trying to use over here okay so we have another option is persisted we are not going to change this option for now let's see the see its impact you can see there is no data mentioned over here it's a computed column and its data will be based on the sum of these two values I'm going to save this table and let's see the output opening same added top 200 rows right I'm not writing any query okay you see we got the values over here and we cannot edit this column we cannot edit this cell right so if we change the value in any of these columns which are included in formula you will see the value is updated dynamically but we have to explore one more option over here in design view you saw there was an option is persisted what does that mean let's discuss is persisted if is persisted is yes that means it will store the data if is persisted is no that means it will not store the data and the values will be calculated dynamically right is persisted is no this means every time we are going to reference this column total into our query the value value will be calculated dynamically but yes if we select yes and save our table now the only difference will be that uh, the values will be stored in the table column and will be stored in the on the desk right this may be a performance issue if you select is persisted no that would be a performance issue if uh, some long or huge formula is given over there in that case you should not uh, should not select no you should select yes for it is this person persisted column so this was a uh, short uh, video tutorial i hope you have learned a new thing uh, thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe our channel to be in, in touch thank you so much